This is Twit. So I am a fan of Google Keep most indefinitely. However, I find that the widget for Google Keep is just not worth keeping on my home screen. So I went in search of a new widget to help me come up with my daily to-do list or life to-do list. Something that looks prettier and nicer on my home screen because, you know, I'm all about that quote unquote aesthetic. So what I did is I went and I found this app called Stuff. Stuff. Um, <laughs> That sounds so like extreme, like stuff. stuff. Just stuff. Um, <laughs> stuff has it's called taken stuff already. to do widget. To be fair, oh, okay. so it's called stuff to do widget, and I'm gonna move my head so I'll stop being in the shot. And as you can see, it is a widget here on my home screen. Um, I put it on my fun page. This is my fun page with my with my fun apps. But um, you could put it closer to the home, to the main home screen, if you like, if you decide. The nice thing about the stuff to do widget that is that it is completely customizable. So after I've placed the widget, so you can add tasks individually just by tapping on it. So you can mark them as complete. When you need to, you'll see them X out on the screen. You'll see a today list, tomorrow list, upcoming someday. If you decide to make this widget a little smaller, that's okay because you can just scroll through it. You can click over here to the slight side to get like the full readout of your to-do list, what you've had in the past, to what you've got coming up, what you've got someday, maybe you've got hopes and dreams. Nice thing about it is you can go through and edit the categories. You can also change the colors as you see fit. Um, my favorite part of this app is if I can remember how to get to it because I customized it and then completely forgot how to get into it. So when you get into the stuff app here, I'm going to do this offline. Sorry, Victor. Okay. I found it. So you go back into the stuff app and in your home screen and you will see the settings icon. So you can go in and do a couple extra things like auto completing tasks, hiding the launcher icon. If you want that out of there, um, backing up your data, which is awesome as well as where is my customizable screen? Uh, oh, here we go. It's right here. Customize. So you can actually go in and customize the widgets background color, or you can make it transparent like I did. Um, you can choose corners, margins. Uh, you can basically go in and make this widget to match your home screen, which is one thing that I really liked because again, I'm all about like the knee aesthetic on my phone. I like customizing it, but I don't want to install a custom launcher. I like my pixel launcher. I'd like to keep it what it is. So I try to find apps like these to kind of help me along the way and stuff is good. Um, I am using the pro version, which I believe was about a dollar or so. So you want to use that if you want to unlock everything. Um, but you know, support your developers, especially if you want something pretty and simple like this. Like it. Yeah. Stuff. Stuff. I like that stuff. Stuff to do widget. Some nice stuff there. Yeah. Can I ask you something stuff. about your phone? Yes. What is the the big round dot thing on the front? Oh, this is, sorry, I forgot to take this off. This is a magnet for a wide angle lens that I have. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought yeah. it was a style thing. No, no, no. It's a magnet. I know it's, it's. it's yeah, I was wondering if it was like a case or something. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's stuff. Magnet. Stuff. This is stuff. Wide angle stuff. lens. So I can do my Snapchats with wide angle if I want to. It's important. I can look like a fish eye, you know, like a MTV, like <laughs> hot, like, cool. Like the Kardashians? No, they use like, they're like 4K anyway. It's too crispy for me. <laughs> Far too crispy. <laughs> Far too okay, crispy. so that was stuff.